Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the tarot tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out all the yourself riches under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using Zotero here? Well, using the app itself is pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get started by downloading the app first. So in this case, let's go to Zotero.org here and you want to go ahead and go to the section for downloading. In this case, go ahead and click on the download button that you see at the very center of your screen. And in this case, you can download the actual app. Also, additionally, if you want to uh, increase your capabilities, you can also install your Zotero app here on your browser. So if you have that option, let's click on the install Chrome connector here, or you can just go ahead and download the actual app here. In this case, I've already downloaded the uh, downloaded Zotero here in my PC. Now, in this case, how do we start using it? Well, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to familiarize ourselves with the different UI here. So by default, we have our file edit view tools and help section. So the file here allows you to create new items, add attachments, add new notes. Edit here allows you to redo or undo some of the actions that you did, even copy, cut, paste, or even delete certain items. Also have the view here to change the current view of your UI. So by default, you could keep this UI here, but if you want to customize it to your view, you could go ahead and choose the appropriate options here, like layout, density, font size, and even note font size here, if you want to increase those. Now we also have our tools here, which includes RTF scan, install, browser connector, plugins, and developer. Now, the thing here with the uh, platform or Zotero here is uh, you have a bunch of capabilities here, but we first need to discuss and understand the basics. Now, the different sections here. Now, first is we have our left panel here. So our left panel actually contains our library, our publications, our items, our duplicated items, unified items, and trash. So by default, we have different sections here. So by publications, we contain actually your publications from the name itself. Duplicate items, just in case like if you have duplicate references, this is where you'll be able to see them. And you also have your unified items here, which in this case, if you haven't added them or specific items into collections, you can actually see them in the uh, uni unfold item section here now the trash here contains all your trash or in this case all the deleted references notes that you've created before anything you've deleted it should be redirected trash now we also have the bottom section here which includes you to basically see different tags that you've created or added to your references so in this case this is a good way for you to quickly organize your references or your notes and uh in this case a way for you to easily access them on a certain topic so depending on the tags that you select now, we have our set, set center section here, which includes us being able to see or view our references. So first is we have the new item here, which in this case allows you to create uh, new items for book, book sections, document, journal, uh, journal article, and a lot more. So depending on what you need. You also have the option to add, or in this case, enter the ISBN or their IDs and basically automatically add your references into your Zotero here. Also have the option to add files or add link to a file as well. And you also have the option to create a standalone note here or new item node. Now, at the right side here, this will contain our properties. So in this case, whenever you're adding references or certain properties on references, this is where you'll be able to edit them. So in this case, how do we actually add or start adding references? So there's actually multiple ways on adding reference here. So first is via the manual method. So whenever you click on the new item action section here and click on book here, you'll be able to basically enter the title, author, series, your number, volume. So basically anything that you want to enter regarding your reference, which in this case, if the, uh, the reference itself is not available online, you could actually enter uh, the details itself uh, in here yourself. Now in this case, what if you already have your friends here and you want to automatically add them into your uh, UI here. So as an example, I'm going to add a sample uh, reference here. And from here, let's go ahead and basically uh, add them. So as you can see, we now have a title here and we want to automatically add our reference. Let's go and click on the add item by identifier here. And you want to go ahead and enter your identifier. So in this case is going to enter this one. 
and that would actually automatically search that online and automatically add this to my uh, library. Which in this case, you have our book here and the different uh, the information regarding this book. So yeah, so if you want to automatically add them and not waste time on adding the details uh, manually, this is how you do it. Now, by the way, if you do see an icon next to the section here, which attach attachments, uh, if you do see an icon or a blue uh, icon in here, it means that the Zotero actually automatically added the book or the copy of that reference into your library here. So in this case, if you do see that, it means that the copy is now present in your library. But yeah. Now in this case, what are the other things that we could do here? So since we added our reference here, we could also create our collection. So our collections actually is a great way for you to uh, basically organize your references into collections from, from the name itself. So in this case, maybe we want to go and click on the um, uh, option here to create our uh, collection. So typically, you could go to the My Library section here, right click on the Library section and just click on New Collection. In this case, you could go ahead and add a new collection here. For example, I'm going to say this is going to be a new collection as an example, but in this case, you could go ahead and create your own or whatever name you want to use. And as you can see, we now have your collection. In this case, you could go ahead and start adding whatever reference you want here. So as an example, maybe I want to add a Witch of Portobello here into my new collection. And as you can see, it's now added. So you could drag and drop certain items into different collections as well. So since we already added that, let's go ahead and delete this one because in this case it is a uh, uh, in this case a duplicate item. So we want to delete that. Let's go to our library here. Let's go ahead and delete this one. But yeah. So uh, in this case, uh, let's go ahead and delete this one first. So yeah, move to item to trash. Click on OK. Now, in this case, uh, once you've actually um, added or certainly added all your friends here, uh, you should be able to also add tags into them. So by the way, if you want to quickly access your undo or redo buttons, you have your shortcuts here, which is Control Y or Control Z. Same thing for other or in this case, uh, different or in this case, uh, in this case, a uh, different items online. So. In this case, uh, it's quite simple. It's quite the same thing for any other apps out there, Control Z and Control Y. So now, since we've just added our collection, what is another way for you to start uh, organizing your reference here? Well, in this case, you could also add tags, which in this case, as you can see at the bottom left, we have our tags here, which is a great way for you to quickly access your references. In this case, let's go to our reference here. Let's go and go to this book here. And you wanna go ahead and uh, uh, basically minimize the info section and you want to go to the tag section here. I want to click on the plus button and maybe I want to say this is about a book and press enter to add that tag. And as you can see, it is now part of the book. Now in this case, once we actually click on uh, our collection, so for example, we want to go to your library here. Let's go and click on book here. It's going to show all the references that has that specific tag, which is a great way for you to quickly access your items if you want to. Now you can also filter tags if you want to. Like for example, you have a lot of tags here. You can also filter them if you, again, if you want to. Now another great way for you to organize your reference here, here is to basically add related uh, references. So in this case, you could go and click on the plus button here, choose your related reference. So for example, I want to add a sample reference here. Click on select. And as you can see, whenever we go to the specific book, as you can see, we should now be able to see the related references. You can go and just click on it and you should be able to see it where it's actually located. Now, uh, also, how do you add your notes since we have our reference here? Well, in this case, you could go ahead and go to uh, the reference here and you could go to the uh, notes section here. You could add a new item note or new standalone note here. So for example, let's go and click on new item note. It's going to add that as a subchild of this specific uh, reference. So if you want to choose a standalone note here, it's going to be a standalone note. So it's not related to any, uh, in this case, any reference that you have here, but you want to delete that. And from here, you can add whatever you want. So for example, I want to say, hey there, sample note. And from here, you should now have your notes. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use Zotero. And from here on, you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.